Hey everybody, this is John Hammond. I'm here at China Beach. Here's the China Beach thing. Right here, across the street from where Robin Williams used to live. And it's beautiful here. The sun is going down. And it's uh, the night before St. Patrick's Day. Just about to turn 66 years old. It's one of my favorite places. So... You can see the Golden Gate Bridge over here, folks. This is on the ocean side of the Golden Gate Bridge. I'm going to zoom in there with my 57 times zoom. You can see there's a lot of traffic people coming into the city tonight. And the sky is starting to turn. Beautiful colors out there in the Pacific Ocean. I would say have a beautiful weekend or whatever time it is you tune in folks. This is John Hammond saying bye bye now. One of the oldest compositions of mine is called Get Back in the Groove. And I wrote that uh, when I was going through a hard time at the age of 15. It was a pretty tough time for me, me personally. I, I ran away from home. Uh, I wanted to be a musician really bad. And I had a, an argument with my folks and things were just about to hit the fan, you know, so I took my accordion and I ran away from home. I wrote the tune actually on guitar. So I played guitar on it. Uh, we didn't record that uh, until 1981. It was a lot of fun doing that session because I got to play guitar and organ. It was one of my first multi-track sessions. And then uh, going on down the line, uh, the uh, track, The Sidewinder, which is the only song that I didn't write on the record. Of course, that's the Lee Morgan classic. This is a tune that we did at uh, one of our Sunday sessions. I used to have Sunday sessions at our recording studio. And I had just come back from Germany. I met a great drummer on the flight coming back from Frankfurt. His name is Ray Grappone. I said, Ray, why don't you come down and sit in for our Sunday sessions? showed up right on time, you know, knock, 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 I opened the door, there's Ray Grappone with the sticks in his hand, I said, where's the cans, man? All right, said, a few All minutes right, ago, man. we were at China, China Beach so looking down. at the Golden Gate Bridge, called the Sidewinder. this is John Hammond yeah. taking you on to the, kind of the Golden Gate Bridge, first thing. and first we're going to go through this real nice tunnel right here, positions. we captured it on uh, half-track tape. quite a span of different things that we covered a lot of uh, years here, uh, 14 years of different recording sessions. I started 
started a production company in New York City in 1983 to uh, help get a friend of mine off the ground who was a member of the Crusaders. He was on the Street Life record. He played with Miles Davis and a bunch of other artists, and he couldn't get a record deal. I said, you know, I got this idea. I heard about public access TV. I said, I'm going to start a public access TV show, and the audio's got to be good. It comes over the cable. I'm going to put the same music on there, and the same A&R guys are going to go home at night, turn on their TV, and hear the very same music that went across their desk. That was a little bit of late rent there, and we had Todd Anderson on saxophone, Barry Finnerty on guitar, Steve Ferrone on drums, and myself, John Hammond, on the organ of the same name. Now we have a very funky tune, also from the late Rent Sessions. This tune is called Pocket Funk. And if you all would like to know how to get some pocket funk out there, try leaving a Kleenex in your pocket the next time you do the laundry. <laughs> I started running out of dough, so I finally realized I'd better do my own music before I completely run out of money. And this is a true story. I took my rent money, and I paid for the recording session and the musicians. And we cut these uh, first three, three tracks on the record, which are Late Rent, Pocket Funk, and Lydia's Tune. So I called up the landlord the next day. I said, uh, Mr. Lebarski, this is John Hammond. I'm really, really sorry, but I had to spend the money on this recording session. And to show you my good faith, I'm going to bring the master tapes over and you can hold on to them until I get the dough together. And you know me a long time. I'm not going anywhere. And he said, okay, Mr. Hammond, uh, we'll work with you. <laughs> 